Hi guys, because I love black and white photography, I want to talk about a little bit more about it. And most of you, when you want to make a black and white image, you just go to black and white adjustment layer and just play with the luminosity of the cars. But this method, it's a little bit limited and boring. That's why I want to show you a better method for a way more dramatic black and white images. Stay with me and I'll show you. Okay, let's use the same image and for this method, first we have to create a new gradient map adjustment layer. From the drop down menu, let's pick a gradient from black to white. And here we have a several methods. The first one, perceptual. It's a little bit darker and contrast. The second one, linear, is just flat. The classic, it's good enough for us, but let's see the rest of them. The smooth also it's a little bit darker and the stripes it's a way more darker in contrast. Okay, let's choose the classic and the method depends on the image that you work with. When we are ready with the method, let's click on the gradient and here we have the gradient with the left pointer and the right pointer. The left one is for blacks on the image and the right one it's for whites on the image. Because I want to make this image a little bit more contrast, that's why I want a little bit more blacks and a little bit more whites. Okay, and where we're done, we can pick the mid pointer to choose blacks or whites to dominate on our image. Let's see, maybe a little bit more whites. Okay, I think it's good. Let's click OK, close this and see before and after. Now we have a good looking black and white image, but to make it way more dramatic, we have to do something more. Let's create a new layer with holding control command shift and N. Let's change the blend mode to overlay and check this fill with overlay natural color, 50% gray. Click OK. Now let's start with dodge tool, pick a highlights with exposure around maybe 30, okay, and let's add a whites a little bit on the hair, a little bit on the face, maybe here on the hand, a little bit here and here, I think it's good, maybe here, okay, it's enough. Now let's change to burn tool. This time we will choose a shadows with exposure around 30. And let's decrease the shadows or add a blacks around the head. Also a little bit here. Good. Let's change to mid tones and let's make the background a little bit darker. Good. Also the highlights a little bit darker. And let's see before and after only with the dodge and burn layer before and after. Let me zoom a little bit before and after. It's way more dramatic. Let's see the whole image before and after. Perfect. This method is very easy and we have a more control on the image. Notice the black and white adjustment layer where we control the luminosity of the wall image, but here with the dodge and burn layer, we can add whites or blacks on the different part of the image and make it way more dramatic. I hope you like it. Subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.